Hey guys, Ellie here. Today, I have a really exciting announcement for y'all. If you're on my Facebook page, it's also called Flip Flop Farmer, but if you follow it, then you've already seen this. But for those of you that are only on YouTube and may not know about it yet, my beautiful fiance, Megan, has just made her brand new YouTube page. It's called Made by Megan. I'm gonna put it on the screen right now so you know how to spell it. Just go on YouTube and search that, Made by Megan, and you'll find it easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, I'm really excited to see how y'all react to her videos because she has all kinds of amazing content, you know, doing stuff on the sanctuary, working hard, hanging out with the pets, loving on the babies um makeup tutorials for those of you that like makeup those of you females in the audience here um uh, what else is there maybe we go on a vacation we go to the zoo or we i don't I, anything literally anything megan has very diverse content on her page and y'all know she has the most amazing bubbly and excited personality she i love her so very much and i'm so very proud of her so y'all go check out made by megan and without further ado let's get right into the video Guys, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but it just feels like Ivan is so, so tall. Like, Imogen is not that tall. He's dang near up to my neck or my my mouth my mouth height. He's so tall. I don't think Imogen and Donkey Dan are this tall. I don't even think that his mama, Ivy, is this tall. So I don't know how this happened or what the deal is. But, like, are y'all seeing this? Like, he, I just feel like he's a really big donkey. It doesn't quite make sense to me because neither of his parents are that tall. Ivy and Dan are his mom and his dad. Um, usually, let me open the gate for Megan while I talk. Usually, I don't... Uh-oh, can't go out, Ivan. Nope. He tried to, he tried to nudge it open with his head, but that's... Ivan's being stubborn. He won't get out. Ivan! Come on, buddy. You gotta move it, Ivan. Okay, come on. You're moving. You're moving. Oh, yeah. You move him, Bubby. You got him. Come on. Let's go. Let's move. Come on. Look how... Okay, right there you can see. Look how tall he is, yeah, guys. Tall. He is so tall. I don't understand it because no, I'm. We're moving. Come on. Ivy and Donkey Dan are not that tall. Those are his parents. His, those are his mom and his dad. They're not as tall as him. I don't get it. In humans, a lot of times, the child will outgrow the mom and the dad. If they have like a grandparent or a distant relative that's really tall, they'll take after them. But animals, I feel like, normally aren't like that. Animals don't usually outgrow their parents, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe donkeys could be different. I don't know how that works though. Like, I don't know if Ivan is a distant grandpa or grandma that's really tall so he's taking after them, but this is just blowing my mind. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Ivan, you gotta move, buddy. I'm, we love you, Ivan, but you gotta let us out. Thank you. Oh no, black cow's gonna try to escape now too. <laughs> Hi, Miracle. You got it, Bubby? Oh, you barely, barely fit through. Okay. Bye, Ivan. I'll see you later, buddy. Oh, that's a good boy. Good boy. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm sitting under this here tree on the Argo, just relaxing doing some online research for things that I need to do, you know, hanging out. It's very peaceful and whatnot. But I think that Miracle and Ivan have just discovered me over here. And so now that they see somebody's here, they're rapidly approaching to say hi, which of course is fine by me. Hi guys, how are y'all? Get your butt over here, Ivan. How you doing, buddy? Is that a sweet boy? It's funny. Like, as soon as they noticed me, it took no more than a, than a minute or, or so for them to get over here. <laughs> 
you never seen this vehicle before, Ivan? You're probably so confused as to what it is. It looks different than a four-wheeler. Guys, I don't know what this here donkey thinks he's up to, but he's having a grand old time, I suppose. You want to drive it, Ivan? You want to steer it with your head? Oh, look at that sweet boy. Oh, I feel like I'm going to get headbutted and he's going to knock me out or something. <laughs> if he headbutted me with full force, that would not be pretty. Nothing back there, I don't think. Yeah, there's nothing back there, Ivan. There's just a place for the water to drain. Because y'all know that this Argo, you can actually drive it on water. It has like little propellers or whatever that help it float. And there's a little drainage system so that water doesn't accumulate, obviously. You can pull out the little nozzles and then the water will drain out just to keep the water from overfilling. It's something that you should do every so often. You're so curious, Ivan. You're so confused as to what this is. Come here, bud. Oh, that's a good boy. Animals, I, I've noticed, are really starting to respond to my snaps. Whenever I snap to get their attention, they respond very quickly. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> Uh-oh, look at this right here. It looks like we got a whole herd of cows headed over this way. The animals must be communicating in their secret language, however they communicate. Ivan's telling them, guys, get over here. You got to see this. And they're all walking over here like, what, Ivan? What this time? Because, hey, what's wrong with you, dude? I totally imagine Ivan being, like, if Ivan was a human, he'd be the person that overreacts to the smallest thing and is always telling his friends, guys, come look at this. And they're expecting something big, but it turns out it's just nothing. I, to me, if Ivan was a person, he'd be the one that makes his friends get up from their naps to come look at just anything and everything and they get so annoyed by him <laughs> you know what i mean on second thought i actually don't think that's miracle that was coming over here with ivan the belly looks way too big now that i'm looking a little bit closer that might be miracle guys i don't know to it's not that i, I y'all know i love the animals so very much i don't have to prove that to anybody but i'm not gonna lie some of them just look too similar i can't tell who's who all of, i'm not gonna lie all of papa's orange cows they look just about the same i don't know which one's a miracle so i'm so sorry if that makes me <laughs> anything or if that's bad but they all look the same they really do hi finny kitty what are you guys doing do y'all want to come outside Oh, I don't know that they would like that. I know that actually the, in the last two days, there have been different times where I would open the sliding glass door and like Loveland would try to sneak outside. And so we had to put her back in because she's not an outside cat. Honestly, she's a little bit, to put it kindly, she is not the sharpest tool in the shed. She has might have a brain cell or two missing. And so I don't know that I trust her being outside and taking care of herself. And Finnegan, Finnegan is so scared and so timid that I don't think he would he actually came outside one time too yesterday I opened the glass door and he like ran out for a second because he's just curious but I truly feel as though they would be so scared being outside so maybe we'll I don't know what we're gonna do the little girl was chattering she was meowing hi little kitty what are you doing I'm gonna come up to the door look at her she's talking hi pretty girl you see your daddy right here Hi, Finny Kitty. <laughs> They're watching Daddy do chores. Okay, guys. I will be back inside with y'all shortly. <laughs>